When viewing this video, you may find it beneficial to increase the colour setting on the television set. This was the fourth annual rally for three-wheelers and was organised under the direction of Competition Secretary Jim Pink. After a night navigation trial and breakfast at the Winter Gardens Great Malvern, competitors made their way to Victoria Park for the special tests. Some also to make running adjustments to their cars. Also included was to be a concourse d'elegance, so it was out with the cleaning and polishing cloths. Meanwhile, the special driving and manoeuvrability tests continued. This was the earliest model attending the gathering, dating from about 1914. a popular family four-seater. Activities continued. A 1930s BSA front-wheel drive three-wheeler on the acceleration and brake test. Also entered were more up-to-date cycle cars, including Heinkel, BMW, Isetta, Bonn, Messerschmitt and Reliant. Judging continued whilst club president and manufacturer Peter Morgan is given a drive in one of his father's early products. As an interlude, Mr Morgan, with one of his latest models, proceeded to demonstrate its precise handling. With the scores calculated, Mrs. Morgan then presented the Concours d'Elegance trophies. Overall, rally winner was M. West, appropriately driving a 1934 Morgan, whilst the Bond Three-Wheeler Club won the team award. Sunday the 12th of May 1968 at RAF Gaden Aerodrome, Warwickshire, venue for the Morgan Three Wheeler Club Sprint. Using one of the wide runways, times were to be recorded over a distance of a quarter of a mile. First a glance at some of the entries. A member from Australia lent an international flavour to the event. racing member Cecil Wilson's car. After practice, some had work to do. Motorcycle representatives of the National Sprint Association had been invited so now a look at some of the motorcycles completing. An interesting entry was this aerial square four with most of the cooling fins removed. Overheating is not a problem over such short distances.
the late Ian Ashwell engaged in some final adjustments to his Vincent 1000cc V-twin, named Satan. The sport of motorcycle sprinting seems to encourage much construction ingenuity. First to make their time runs were the motorcycles. A fast run by Ian Ashworth. Time for the club's members to make their runs. This 1936 model belonging to Harold Pass is unusual in having a Vincent motorcycle engine. Alongside Pete Thompson in his Anzani engine, Brooklyn's replica. Assembly was soon achieved and off they went, two at a time, down the wide runway. Russell Wilson using an air-cooled matchless engine. Pete Thompson makes his run. Buys all opposition driving his 1927 family mock. Uh, Sports Secretary Mike Guest makes a quick run.
For the record, fastest time of the day was by Ian Ashwell with 11.28 seconds. The fastest Morgan was the racer of Mike Guess with a time of 17.72 seconds.